It's time to get really excited guys because daily vlogging is becoming widely popular now. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, I used to enjoy daily vlogging, watching Casey Neistat, uh, Ben Brown, Fun for Louie, occasionally, um, way back when, oh, 2015, 14, just enjoying breakfast and just watching Casey Neistat on the daily and all my other favorite YouTubers. Because of this new wave of people staying at home more and having more free time, I suppose, um, compared to working, a lot of people have picked up old hobbies, passions, and one of those passions is daily vlogging. So it's been really exciting, especially seeing uh, vloggers like Casey Neistat. I think he's done a weekly vlog now, which has been pretty exciting, having a video each day. I've Recently, I've only just discovered that. It's just really inspiring to see um, daily videos being uploaded. Uh, previously, I was watching uh, YouTubers like Lindsay Lowe, Sarah Dietschy, and also um, Catherine Manning, the content bug, who would do weekly uploads, uh, sometimes twice a week or once a week. Because not only am I entranced as a viewer, I'm also going back in time sort of thing, uh, just watching YouTube videos and just relaxing and taking that moment to just scroll through YouTube instead of other social media feeds. I've found in the past that it's been really exciting and enticing to watch daily vlogging, especially uh, currently, like Lindsay Lowe, she's currently, her and her partner are currently having a baby, which is fantastic and congrats you guys but uh, you know as a viewer you're also being taken on that journey um, watching their week go about I suppose and just seeing how that how what the end outcome is over the coming weeks I don't know you guys sort of start joining communities the fun thing about YouTube is that you start joining communities and making friends out there and meeting like-minded people on the internet um, that are also into YouTube and vlogging and filmmaking and photography and graphic design as well, you know, the sky's the limit. And this new wave of vloggers, just looking at the greats, um, coming back in, vlogging, uh, doing weekly uploads. You know, I'd really love to see other uh, great YouTubers um, coming back to also daily vlogging and doing that regularly. I used to watch Zoella. I know there was a phase where Zoella and also Joe Sugg and Casper Lee, I think, and just other YouTubers like that who would um, make daily content or weekly content. And yeah, it's just a lot of, especially now because I find that I'm not watching as much TV as I used to. I'm going to either Facebook or YouTube um, and just watching these videos. Uh, I, some of them go for five to 10 minutes, but it's definitely where I'm finding I'm driving towards more entertainment, um, especially consuming YouTube content and just learning as I go as well. Um, especially if you're a small YouTuber like me and you're just learning the ropes, it's really great to see uh, greats like Casey Neistat and Fun for Louie and I think even Ben Brown just starting again, um, building up their passions and just showing what their daily lives are. It's just fantastic to see and it's something that I'm really enjoying. You know, these guys are inspiring others to start YouTube and to start filmmaking in general and you can always learn these new tips and tricks. Uh, I know recently I've been watching a lot of Jake Rich's videos and Jordan Tuali's and other YouTubers like Australian YouTubers like that and just learning um, whether it's GoPro tips or Photoshop, um, using Adobe and different tricks like that. But with this new wave of daily bloggers, we've just got a bunch of other people starting to create content again and inspire others to create. And I know I'm definitely moving towards making more videos. Uh, I'm sure you guys have found that out. Because of 2020, we've all had our ups and downs and now I've got the time and I'm definitely going to use it to start creating content um, I've been experimenting with TikTok and also looking towards creating YouTube videos and learning from others um, as well, which I'll talk, talk about in another video. <laughs> um, but yeah, just it's going to be good. It's going to be fantastic to just start creating and start doing your passions, um, whether it's daily vlogging and you're trying to get gain that outreach or just 
you're wanting to create films and you're learning as you go at the same time you want to improve your editing skills your filmmaking also um, discussing as well I remember I was editing a video previously and I was just saying to myself you're so softly spoken and I know that um, which is something I've got to work on as well um, it's yeah something to develop but um, I think that's why I've got this road mic <laughs> on top of the camera but um, yeah maybe maybe I need a mic you know just to attach and when I'm creating these videos you know looking at Casey Neistat and different um, methods of filmmaking such as using illustrations um, hand drawings to incorporate it you know, I've seen Dan Mace create um, short films and also incorporate that into his YouTube videos where there's like um, little cutouts of his dog climbing a mountain or in the snow, different things like that or um, just, yeah. It's also a method you guys could use when creating videos and I don't know if you want to incorporate that into your daily vlogging but it's just another one of those aspects. Um, I know myself, I'm definitely working towards learning animation and different skill sets um, that I can incorporate, especially with illustrations. Um, you guys may see that I'll add a couple of in illustrations into this video, which will be a lot of fun, um, especially creating them, and I'll also have some videos up in the future on how I do that. Anyway guys, just let me know if you are interested and excited to see this new wave of old vloggers coming in and just creating videos again. It's just going to be really interesting to see how long this will actually last and will it be the end of 2020 or moving towards the future, will daily vlogging become a thing for a few more years, uh, who knows. But it's definitely something to look forward to. It's definitely great to see um, each week different vloggers and their lives and just how they're going through their journey and also sharing and creating a community at the same time, which is really interesting. I know uh, Dan Mace has created uh, the Bro community. You can find them on Facebook. Um, I'm definitely a part of that as well. Just being able to connect with the audience and creating these small communities of like-minded people, of filmmakers, uh, is really interesting and I can't wait to see this wave as well. I don't know if Dan Mace is going to start daily vlogging, but, um, you know, fingers crossed. There's other YouTubers out there that might join the wave. Um, myself, I'm going to stick to two, uploading two videos uh, a week. Yeah. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I'll try. <laughs> it's just another skill set that I'm trying to learn and develop at the same time. And also expect some graphic design illustrating videos coming in the future, which you guys seem to enjoy. Anyway, I hope you have liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below who's your favorite daily vlogger and also comment down below who are you watching recently who's just started daily vlogging again in the past few weeks or the past few months. Uh, it'd be really interesting because yeah, I enjoy YouTube and I enjoy watching YouTube as well. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in another one. Okay, bye. Through and I just spilled tea.